Gnocchi is one of those great comfort foods uh, and this recipe has the makings of a great comfort bowl with some blue cheese, mozzarella, cream, and some really nice hazelnuts and pumpkin. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 750 grams of store-bought gnocchi and we're just gonna boil that. And as soon as they rise to the top, it's only gonna take a couple minutes. That means they're ready so we can drain them instantly and get them into a bowl. So that's our cue. The gnocchi have started to float to the top so we can just drain them straight away into our bowl. And I'll just rinse and drain these under cold water just so they stop cooking as well. So I've got some pumpkin here. We're just gonna take off some thin slices. So first I'm just gonna get rid of some of that skin. And this is just gonna cook in that bake at the same time. So there's no need to pre-cook the pumpkin. Get rid of those seeds as well. Just use a spoon to kind of edge them out. And then I'm just gonna make thin slices, about five millimeters each. And it's gonna go straight into our bake. So we can get that pumpkin just into the bowl here and just toss it with some olive oil. We're gonna put in our gnocchi now, and then just two egg yolks. And then we've got a lot of cream. It is a comfort dish. And then some blue cheese. Make sure you use a really good blue cheese, because this is what a lot of the flavors come from. And we're just gonna crumble half of our blue cheese in. And also some mozzarella. Just coarsely grate that. And make sure you reserve some of the mozzarella because we're gonna use that on top of the bake. And some nutmeg, if you can use some fresh nutmeg and grate it in. Bit of salt, pepper, some of our sage leaves. And just give that a stir before we mix into the rest of our ingredients. You need about a 30 centimeter baking dish for this. And once we just mix all this mixture together, get it into the gnocchi. Stir that through, okay, and just tumble carefully. Kind of disperse the pumpkin and the sage leaves. And some more of that mozzarella just on the top. And then we can get into the oven 200 degrees until it's beautiful and bubbling. It's probably gonna take about 45 minutes. Put that cheese on top and into the oven. So while that's in the oven, we're just gonna make a sage oil. So I've got this pan over medium high heat. I'm just gonna grab some sage leaves, just break them off the stems. And so go in with some of our olive oil into the pan and then into the oil. Just let them fry up. So we're kind of perfuming that oil as well. So we're gonna use the crispy sage on top of the bake, but then that oil is gonna have a beautiful sage flavor, which we can drizzle over as well. Okay, so just get some paper towel and just drain those leaves on the paper towel and keep that oil in the pan. Also got some hazelnuts which have roasted. Give them a bit of a chop and we'll top the bake with these as well. So we're out of the oven, it's piping hot, it's beautifully golden and we can just finish up the dish now. Some of those hazelnuts we just chopped, some of those sage leaves and then we kept some of that blue cheese from before so just break some of that over. And then lastly some of that sage infused oil we made just gonna drizzle it all over the top. Season it with a bit of pepper. And there it is, your familiar gnocchi, except ultra comforty with some cream, beautiful cheese, pumpkin, and some sage.